Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do a quick vlog style post to show some progress in the frag tank as well as just a quick walkthrough of my Zoas. I recently got a ton of Zoas. I was at the Reefapalooza Texas show and as a Canadian I'm not allowed to bring over any reef building corals so what I'm allowed to cross over the border with really is zoas, mushrooms, and softies. So I got myself a nice collection of zoas that I was either not able to find in Canada, or it was difficult to find, or the price was just much cheaper in the States. I've noticed that price varies quite a bit. Sometimes they're more expensive, sometimes they're cheaper. So um, let's just get into the zoas that I have. Sorry if I have any of these names wrong, please correct me in the comments below. Some of them I actually don't even know their names, so I could use some assistance. All right, so let's get into it. These are those I've had for quite some time now. This is my Rastas. Over here I have a yellow, peach, blue and yellow Zoa. I believe it's a wild colony. Here's what it looks like. They grow pretty fast and I think they're quite beautiful. I also have um, Outer Chaos. These guys, I'm not entirely sure what they are, the orange ones in the center. Um, I have Pinwheels, which grow pretty fast as well. I have a pretty big grow out disc over here. And then I have Oompa Loompas, which are good growers. Uh, these are Diamond. Pink diamonds, that's what they're called. Hi, Pekina. My cat is talking to me. Uh, okay. Over here, trying to get around these light reflections, we've got a blue Zoa and like a pink mouth. I don't know the name of this one. If anyone knows, please post it in the comments. I have, I think this one is called Blood Suckers. I Maybe. I think it's called a blood sucker. I've had it for a while. And that is my frags that I've had for a while. If we move over to my grow out discs, I have Fruit Loops. Um, I don't know the name of this one. It's likely a wild caught. I think it's like a peach greenish color. Nirvana. Red and green eyed. Oh, I'm forgetting right now. People eaters? Is that what they're called? We've got purple monsters and a couple pinwheels stuck in there. They look actually quite nice together. This is my um, fire and ice, which I love this coral. Absolutely love this coral. It pops amazing against all the other zoas. I have another blue. Zoa, which I, if anyone has a name for this one, please put it in the comments. This is a weird one. They always look kind of flat. They always look like this, but I'm pretty sure this is a Zoa um, wild colony, I should say. And they probably are not ha happy being in an aquarium. It's pink and what looks like kind of like a white, white eye, white center, mouth, whatever you want to call it. Um, over here we've got magicians, I believe. They're actually starting to look quite nice as they get bigger. You can see the detail in the center there. Uh, I have, if you can see here, I think these are called a uh, Pandora, Pandora or something like that. I have uh, a lot upstairs in my main display. I just haven't brought them down here yet. And I have a couple more upstairs. Other than that, let's get into the corals that I've recently purchased at the Reefa Palooza show. I got this guy here, which is called the Mind Tricks. I don't think I've seen it available in Canada. It's a beautiful purple center, more of an orange skirt. It's not coming through on camera maybe the best, but I'll see if I can do something about color correction. I have a Exosphere, which I've only seen one Canadian seller have it. Beautiful blue kind of galaxy center and green skirt over here we've got two couldn't help myself guys 
got this one for what was a good price, Little Shops of Horror, and then I found this one at an even better price. So I got both of them. Um, haven't seen too many suppliers in Canada selling them, and when they do, they are way more expensive. Over here we've got Alpha Omega, which for the longest time I thought was the same thing as my Fire and Ice, but I can tell you they are not when you see them side by side. This one's more red and a mint color on the inside. And over here you've got like more of an orange with a lot more blue on the inside. AOI, it is available in Canada, but a little harder to find. On top of that, I have, I mean, I got this one a couple months ago. Oh, the light is hard, hard to see. Okay, we got a Stratosphere, guys. I got this as, I think, a single head, and we've got, Oh, I moved it, so a few of them closed up, but we've got four heads, guys. Prom I promise there's four. And the weirdest part about all this is I have three, I, I know this is weird, but I have three spellbinders, and they all look drastically different. So this is a spellbinder, which is very nice. It's got a lot of black detail in it. And then this one here is also supposed to be a spellbinder, but it's a little bit more bright on the orange side. I think it could be different lighting. So right now I have them side by side to see if maybe this one will get a little bit brighter in intensity just because they're kept at the, the same par right now. And then at the very bottom here, I have more um, spellbinders. But these ones, they're, they're very bright and orange, but they're missing a lot of the black, I find. And it could be because they were in too much par. That's why I've moved them away from the center of the tank to see if there's any changes that's going to happen to them. But I find that there's a lot of inconsistencies in what the Spellbinder really looks like. So we'll see what they develop into. And the last one that I have here, beautiful Zoa. I think this one was called the Grim Reaper. Very nice. Never seen it before. I got it from Ultra LPS Corals. It's a yellow, black, pink. Very, very nice. And I mean, I think that's all when it comes to the Zoas in this tank. Oh, I have one more. Sorry, guys. Well, this one's not coming through on camera very well. Maybe I can go and take a look at the ones that are here. So these are rainbow incinerators. Yeah. And while I'm at it, I mean, take a look at these beautiful Ghanis I got at the Kitchener Waterloo Show. They're looking really good. My grow out discs are, well, growing out. Oh, why is it blurry? Can't fix that. There we go. Okay, and then we have a lot of SPS that are doing very well. Is that, there we go, we got it in focus, guys. When I went to Reefapalooza, some of my corals bleached out. My nitrates and phosphates bottomed out and I might have had a little too much par on them and they're finally getting back to normal. I just put a bunch of these guys in the corner um, because my Miyagi torts were very 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 white on the tips when I uh, got back. Most of it has recouped and this guy was also starting to bleach out. I have, have to say that they're doing better. This one obviously has no color so We'll see if that guy ever really comes back, but yeah, just a quick little update. And if you have any questions, if you know the names of any of these Zoas that I got wrong or don't know the names, please post it in the comments below. Thanks guys. Have a great day.